Hello and welcome to episode five. So in episode four, I had crossed the Yukon River here in Dawson City and stayed at a little campground right on the river. Got up and uh, now I'm on my way to enter Alaska with a destination of the area of Toke. On the road again, day 14, I am on the top of the world highway. This road goes from Dawson City in the UK, crosses the, the US Canadian border, and then goes to a little town called Chicken, and then on to Toke. So here I go. So I'm told a lot of this road is dirt and gravel. So that should make it fun. Definitely a beautiful day today. I just had to pull over here and show you why they call this the top of the world highway. I'm uh, currently still in Yukon territory of Alaska, but if you see those buildings down there, that is the U.S.-Canadian border. So, looks like in just a minute, I'm going to be going through there and entering Alaska. How you doing? Good, how are you? Well, that was a bummer. He made me turn off my camera. Oh well. Pretty easy crossing though. Well, I am in Alaska. Yeehaw! Chicken is a tiny village. It's the first uh, town you come to when you enter Alaska from Yukon through the little gold border crossing. It's got a population of 12 people, and it's funny that it got its name because the state bird, a ptarmigan, uh, they couldn't get, agree on the spelling of it, so they just called the town Chicken. It's known for its gold mining, and back in the day it was very prosperous uh, in mining gold. And to, to this day, there's still people that come up there just to mine gold. Hello, so I made it to Clearwater, <clears throat> Clearwater Campground. It's an Alaskan state campground right on the Tananaka or something like that river. It's maybe 50 yards that way. Anyway, I'm settled in camp here for the night and uh, I did go fishing for about 45 minutes. No 
no luck. I was hoping to catch dinner, but again, no luck. I, I've come to realize I think I just suck at fishing. Um, I would never survive up here if I had to depend on me catching fish because either that would be really, really super skinny, which well, wouldn't be a bad thing. So I'm going to make me some dinner, have a cocktail, and uh, I am in Alaska. See what this hotel is going to be like but it wasn't very expensive so you get what you pay for it but good enough for a night Day 16, I'm in Fairbanks, Alaska, and uh, spent the time uh, washing the bike, working on uh, some videos, and uh, it was nice having a hotel, getting a shower. But today, today I am off to Denali, and uh, only one other little mishap, and I had a little nail in the tire that I found uh, last night. Fortunately, it was a small nail, and uh, hopefully the uh, plug kit I have repaired it, and it's going to hold. So on we go to Denali National Park. I think I found a spot, a little spot 150, got a fire pit, flat tent area, and a river down there, perfect. Yeah, that's my campsite, really nice, uh, beautiful day, probably about 70 degrees, I'm here at Denali National Park, and I scored a really good site, so Still getting upset, or getting upset, still getting set up, and uh, said I'm going to take a little break here and just relax and enjoy this view. Yeah, this is Denali National Park, and it's pretty amazing. I've been tripping through it and uh, checking it out, and right now I'm hiking down this trail. It's supposed to be a, a sled dog kennels down here, so let's go see if we can see some dogs.
Good morning. Day 17 of the Alaska Motorcycle Adventure, and I'm just leaving this beautiful campsite in Denali National Park. Today, heading to Anchorage, Alaska. Um, I think it's about a three hour ride, but uh, it's supposed to be pretty enjoyable and a lot of scenery, so see what I see on the way and catch you down the road. Well, that was a real nice stay in the uh, actual Denali National Park. The campground was actually one of the better campsites I've been to. A lot of room between the sites. The price was right. Cold and uh, wet one today, all the way. Well, that was one hell of a ride. Four hours in the rain and cold, um, but I made it here to Anchorage at the Coast Inn at Lake Hood. Apparently, it's the largest uh, seaplane landing area right behind the hotel here. So, time to go check in. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning, July 7th, day 18, I think it is, of uh, my journey. I am here in Anchorage, Alaska, at the Coast Motor Inn or something like that. I'm right on the uh, water where the seaplanes take off and land, and uh, it's actually a pretty nice place. So I've decided to extend uh, my stay here by one night just because um, Weather's kind of lousy, a little bit rain today. It's supposed to clear up tomorrow. And I've got a bunch of chores to do. So today I'm gonna do laundry and uh, do oil change on my motorcycle, uh, pick up a couple of things that I need, and uh, work on some more videos today is what I've been doing. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, July 8th, and finally got some sunshine in Anchorage. So last two days of rain, as you saw, got caught up with stuff, but we're finally leaving, and I am heading to the Kenai Peninsula to find a campground. And uh, yeah, it's been uh, really a nice place to stay. I would stay here again if I came back. We'll see you down the road.